Hello students, today we will be solving the MSc CMI data science question paper from the year 2018. We will be solving part B questions which is basically the descriptive part of the paper. So now in this question number 15 it has been said that a square piece of paper ABCD of side length 1 is folded along the segment that connects the upper right corner B and the midpoint Q of the left side left edge AD as so what is the vertical distance between the base edge DC segment DC and the point P which was originally the point A okay so this was a square piece of paper and this square piece of paper was folded along BQ so this point which was originally at P point which was originally at A came down over here now we need to find out the vertical distance between the side DC and the point P and uh, side length for each of this side of this square is equal to 1 so what we'll try to do is that let us take this angle as equal to theta okay now we know that AB has a side length of 1 and AQ since Q is the midpoint of AD this is equal to 1 by 2 this AQ is equal to 1 by 2 so therefore we have tan theta is equal to 1 by 2 by 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 okay so thereby BP which is originally AB is also equal to 1 okay and QP which is originally AQ this is equal to 1 by 2 okay so therefore if we if you take this angle then tan of this angle is equal to 1 by 2 by 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 so therefore this angle also we can take as theta okay so the remaining angle this is the remaining angle over here this can be taken as equal to 90 minus 2 theta okay so this if you take BP cos of 90 minus 2 theta then this will give us if we take this and this uh, the intersection point over here as the point X then we get the length bx so therefore bx is equal to bp cos of 90 minus 2 theta and this will be equal to bp since we know bp is equal to 1 so this will be equal to 1 and cos of 90 minus 2 theta ultimately gives us sine of 2 theta okay sine of 2 theta okay so now we have been given that tan theta is equal to 1 by 2 so basically that means that sine theta by cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 and that implies that cos theta is equal to 2 sine theta now we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so that implies if we substitute cos theta by 2 sine theta we get 5 sine square theta is equal to 1 and that ultimately gives us that sine theta will be equal to 1 by root 5 and that also gives us that cos theta which is equal to 2 sine theta is 2 by root 5 so therefore this sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta and this can now be written as 2 into 1 by root 5 into 2 by root 5 and this will be equal to 4 by 5 so bx bx this portion is equal to 4 by 5 so the vertical distance between p and which will be vertical distance between the point p and the segment say dc which is equal to cx so therefore cx will be equal to 1 minus 1 minus bx which would be 1 minus 4 by 5 and this would be equal to 1 by 5 which is the final answer that we are looking for so the vertical distance between the base edge dc and the point p is equal to 1 by 5 which is the correct answer so this is the way in which you can solve this question number 15 from the cmi data science question paper thank you very much